So Maria. Hi. How'd you like yesterday? It was awesome. That worship was amazing. Now I got my dancing skills. I still need to polish them, but they were awesome. It was awesome and translating was amazing. It really was. Yeah, that was your first of many times translating. Yay! Yeah, I loved it. I really did. I, I really, really did. It taught me a lot and I also got to see what it is to be on like the stage and seeing the people too. It's a different perspective, so it's good. That's it's true. Good. You got to stand up there with me and look from that angle. Yep, yep. I could see everything. I was like, wow, this is different from when you're like sitting down and looking and and it's awesome really and how the Lord backs you up. Right, right. Yep. Well you did a terrific job. Well, and muchas gracias. And I'm sure I'm sure that the supernatural life will agree with me. So let's talk about this young girl that people are about to see on the video. All right. That's the highlight that I'm putting on here today. Mm -hmm. um, she had scoliosis. And okay, yeah. remember? Yes, I do. Yeah, so let's explain a little bit what happened with that. What did you see from, from your perspective of what happened when she was getting prayed for? What, just, I guess just tell them what took place. Well, yeah, so she actually she was a dancer. She was teaching me how to dance. So I, could, I couldn't even tell she had scoliosis before. And then she comes up and says she has scoliosis, like when Daniel was about to pray. And... Um, Basically, Daniel started praying and the people, the ladies at the church were holding her too. And she just like, you could tell she was feeling the power of God. She was crying. So she was already getting touched in her heart. You could just see that he was, she was getting touched. Um, she was getting some freedom. And then at the end of it, she, Daniel at first asked something, do you feel anything? She's like, not really. But then they asked her to do something different and she could actually touch her toes, which she couldn't do that before. And I was honestly super surprised because she hit it really well. She was dancing like, a, you know, like there was no tomorrow. So... But like she could li li literally like bend herself over and over and you couldn't tell there was any scoliosis in there. So it was pretty awesome. It was amazing. Amen. Yeah. And, and you're liking this trip, huh? Very much. The first of many. So yeah. that's right. Yep. Yep. And you've watched for years me travel and go yeah. places with other people and you've had to kind of stay behind. Well, yeah, I decided to have babies. <laughs> but yeah, um, I stayed behind. But I'm thankful that the Lord has given me this opportunity. I, I serve under a great man of God and woman of God. So I'm happy that I'm being able to go out. And uh, I just I'm excited to see what the Lord has in store for all of us, really. Amen. Simple yeah. obedience and humility will open doors that you would never think could be to be opened. Honestly, guys, I would tell you serve. Serve with the right heart. And even if sometimes you're like, your flesh is like, nah, just follow the Holy Spirit and serve with joy because that's, that's one of the best things. I used to go to the kids' room. Sometimes I was like, I don't want to, <laughs> but I would still do it. And the Lord has worked on my heart. And sometimes I was trying to be selfish and he was showing me that. So like, just serve. The Lord will show you so much and he'll take care of you. And then you get to experience all of this. So just have a heart to serve with no expectancy of this, just for the joy of doing it, for the joy of being with him. And just he'll open up doors without even like thinking about it. Cause I didn't even think I was going to translate. I, that wasn't in my mind. So that was my advice to you guys. Amen. And I can back that up guys. Maria is definitely a humble servant. And before we can actually do anything, we have to first serve. Yeah. Jesus came to serve and showed us the way. And from his example, we do the same thing. And in that we become exalted in Christ mm -hmm. and he opens doors that no man can shut. Yep. 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 So, okay guys, I guess you can tell Maria to get ready to enjoy what they're about to see. Yep. Enjoy guys. And like, share, subscribe, and join the channel to join the TSNL for Runner School. It's awesome. Hey, men. Okay, you ready? Estás lista? Put your hand up here and on the bottom. Okay. I'll come in right now. Come on. Right here. 